Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ethan, and I'm here to tell you about my, not the whole bike, just the frame. The most important part of your whole bike. <laughs> this here, the sleeper frame, Bit by Co. Listen, this is my signature, and that means I got to design it, everything. Geometry, colors, shapes, you know, all that good stuff. Even the sparkles, that's me. <laughs> all the other bikes out there, I'm not talking shit, but all the other bikes, they're made in Taiwan. They're mass produced, you know. This here, US made in Santa Ana, California, right down the street, made with care and love and quality. <laughs> S&M grade 4130 chromoly steel. Are you kidding? No jokes. This rail is so fucking waxy. Oh my God, I smacked the tree with my face. Bro, look at my hat. I didn't even realize, shit. I got top and bottom gussets, extra strong, built-in seat clamp, because you're weird if your seat clamp's not built-in. Geometry, the shape of this bad boy. You already know it's the all-time best street frame ever invented. For starters, the head tube, 75 and a half, you know, a little bit steeper than normal. Um, those 76er frames, no swag. You're like bat out of hell, squirrely. Mine, perfect. <laughs> 75, five. I was lucky terrified to do that. <laughs> nice. The bottom bracket height. I don't remember what the number is, but I told them make it tall enough so you could crook both ways with a 28 2 sprocket. You know, you do a switch crook, sometimes it hits. Not with my shit. Check this out. Not even close. So the back end, we're at 13.4 slammed. The reason I made it a little longer is because I used to ride 13 flat. Then I moved up to a 13.25 and that was the greatest thing I ever did. So now I bumped it up just a little bit more because it feels really, really, really good for backwards manuals with the longer back end. Aside from that, the aesthetically pleasing 9.25 standover. My last frame was 9.15 and I went crazy. I bumped it up to 9.25. Looks better, I run a tall seat, so I like it to look like I don't run such a tall seat. Mid bottom bracket, obviously. Integrated headsets, obviously. Built-in chain tensioners, bro. Your frame ain't got that. Mine do. <laughs> oh yeah, so the colors. The colors, obviously. This one, Daytona Violet. It's a M3 color off a of 97 M3. Go look it up. So fit, they balled out. They matched my uh, Matt Nordstrom's bars in the purple. And then these are the Fit Shiv V3 forks. Also come in purple now, so you can get the full kit just like me. Looks perfect. The other ones come in trans red, the all-time greatest bike color ever. Shout out to Garrett Reynolds. And then we got a black one for those boring guys, you know? So the best thing in the world, spaghetti, obviously. Uh, I was super poor for a long time. <laughs> Street riding every day, you know? And so I would make a pound of spaghetti in the morning and just put it in a Tupperware, put sauce all in it, and then just carry that shit around all day long. And I would just take spaghetti breaks between clips. And that would keep me fueled up in order, you know, to make it this far, baby. That's why I got the spaghetti. And no one else got spaghetti, come on. So I got my name right here in the pasta. And on this side, the O is a meatball in Fit Bike Co. That's crazy. And there's a fork, bro. Shout out to Eben Fisher. Oh yeah, and then there's Chef Sleeper down here, that's me. Can you see that? There you have it. She does work, clearly. So now it's time for you to go get one at your local fit dealer. Or hit me up on Instagram, I'll sell you one through my bike shop and I'll hook you up. And then, you know, you'll get it from me, it's even better. <laughs>